We all know that we feel uncomfortable whenever we see our CPU temperatures hit that specific 90 degrees Celsius. We immediately try to fix this just to make it feel right. And in this video, we're going to solve that. I will teach you how to undervolt your CPU in your gaming laptop in just simple steps and make it easier for you to understand. So I would appreciate it if you could just consider to subscribe to this channel. So let's do a quick refresher on benefits of undervolting CPU because it's different from the GPU one. What are the reasons why you need to undervolt specifically your CPU? Number one, increases lifespan. This is important because on gaming laptops, they are soldered. They can't be replaced unlike on PC builds that you can upgrade your processors anytime. Number two, avoid sizzling hot temperatures. This will usually decrease your CPU's lifespan and given already that laptops has lesser space and airflow system than PC, this matters a lot. Number 3. Increases performance for a small amount. Undervolting will open up a way for your CPU to operate more stably. Number 4. Avoid thermal throttling. Related again to stability, this will avoid your laptop experience sudden drastic changes on performance such as crashes and huge spikes due to thermals. Number 5. Increase small amount of battery life. This puts way less stress on your CPU and reduces the drawn power, resulting in a small boost on your battery life. What are the things that you need when undervolting your CPU? Number 1. Undervolting application. You can use Intel Extreme Tuning Utility but only if you have an overclockable CPU. For this one, I'll be using Throttle Stop because i5-11400H processor is non-overclockable CPU. But you can also do it on traditional way on your BIOS by adjusting the offset value. That's a lot straight to the point and to be honest, I prefer that. But that will take you a lot of time because you're also gonna have to test it. It's gonna be a lot of reboot and restarting going back and forth from your desktop to BIOS again and again. So it depends on you whatever you feel comfortable using, that's fine. Number 2. CPU Stresses Application This is optional. If you want to check how the max temperature of your CPU under stress or stabilize checking your undervolting voltage, you can use something like Cinebench. And number three, monitoring application. Optional again, use it if you want to do some comparison. You can use your Armory Kate, G Helper, or for me, OCCT for accuracy. So first step is install everything that is needed. After that, straight to the point, open shuttle stop, go to Fiverr, undervolt your CPU and CPU cache by minus 100 millivolts which is the best starting point because almost every CPU can handle this, then it's up to you if you are going further. If it's still stable, minus 1 millivolts until it crashes. And if it crashes, just add plus 1 millivolts. On my case, it stables on 120 millivolts. So if you have the same processor as mine, you can try this. After that, don't save it yet as final because you might want to test things out if it's stable on system performance, games, or on your CPU stresses application. But if it's all good already, you can finally save it and there you go. You may need to readjust this if you're playing such different variety of games like the intensive one such as Elden Ring which does really heat up your CPU. And you may need to undervolt it a little bit more even if your temperatures are already fine on other games that are less intensive. But for 95% of the users, you're already done. So that's it. Drop a like if this video helped you. Make sure to subscribe and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out on my Instagram or email. So again, Hermes here. Thanks for watching and catch you guys on the next one.